that vision, we go to war. If Ruid's clan continues to roam this kingdom unchecked, the people of East Anglia will be as ravaged as these lands. And where do we hey guys, it's Glenn here, and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit. I'm not going to go through the whole video uh, talking so you can hear what's going on, but uh, thanks to Ubisoft for allowing a preview of not only Watch Dogs Legion, but also of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which you're seeing now. Uh, this is actually me playing, but this is over a remote connection, kind of like remote play on the PlayStation 4. Uh, and also, this was just after I finished Ghost of Tsushima, and some of the buttons are different on this game than they are in Ghost of Tsushima. So there are times where you're going to see me make kind of weird moves, and that's because I'm trying to use like the evade button, but it's different between the two games. Uh, but this is me actually playing with a DualShock 4. Uh, through my PC on this remote client. Uh, and, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of the Assassin's Creed series in the past, but I have actually started playing a couple of the more recent titles, like Origins, and I jumped at the, at the opportunity to play this game. And rightfully so. It's, it's a pretty fantastic game so far, even in this early stage you're going to see. So you're going to see this is coming out for PlayStation 4, for Xbox One, but also... This will be coming out for the new consoles as well with some additional effects like ray tracing especially. Uh, the cool thing is this is the PC build of it. It's, it's early, but this is the PC build, so you're going to see some kind of, uh, of those ray tracing effects in action as you see with some of the reflections on the water. It's not just screen space reflections anymore. It's actual ray tracing, and you're going to see even some of those effects in those small little puddles that you come across when you're running around things. Uh, but really cool real-time weather effects, Really easy to control, a lot of fun, and I didn't really have a problem kind of understanding where to go next and what to do next. Uh, one of the things also is that you can play as either a male or a female, and I actually did that in both uh, ways in this game. I don't know if any of the footage that you see here is going to reflect that, but uh, the woman that you can choose is actually quite tough and, and quite awesome to play with. Uh, there was some really cool stuff in this, and again, I played this right after I played Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, it was almost the same day, actually, from when I finished it. And it was great to have that for a comparison uh, between, like, the, the gameplay, the combat, and just the overall feel and look of the game. And, and quite frankly, I was pretty impressed with what I played so far on this one. Uh, you'd be able to get onto a ship later on, and, and you can tell one of your crewmates to, you know, sing an old, an old dirge, if you would, and you get on the open sea. Here you see me just trying to fumbling around trying to figure out where the heck to go and what the heck to do. Uh, one of the things I really loved about this too, and you'll see it here in a bit, is you can actually sound your horn and your whole crew basically will jump off the boat and attack whatever you want them to do attack, be it a small encampment, be it a castle, whatever. And it was a lot of fun. It was, it was pretty neat. And, and some of the battles get quite epic actually. Uh, when, especially, I think you're gonna see later, uh, I have an attack on like a bigger castle and at one point, I don't know if I included the footage, because a lot of the footage I have is kind of broken up. I actually broke the demo at one point, because this is alpha. And don't forget that. This is a work in progress. This is basically alpha. And at one point, I broke the demo, and, and I couldn't use any of the footage from that, obviously. Here you go with one of the attacks. Uh, but there was a point where there were guys up on the top of the castle, and they actually dumped, like, hot oil flaming oil on us, and I didn't see it coming. And all of a sudden I'm like, why did I die? And, and then you kind of went back and looked and they dumped all this hot oil on you like the old days. Um, targeting the enemies is pretty easy. Use the right stick for that. So you'll click R2, or R3, I mean, uh, to lock the, onto them, and then you can go right or left on the right stick to move to different targets. Uh, as you can see, the combat is very visceral. And uh, there's a lot of action going on here. I, you know, coming off of Ghost of Tsushima especially, and even playing Assassin's Creed Origins uh, not too long before this. It's a great evolution of what they've done with combat. Uh, and also back to the ray tracing, you're going to see a lot of that used in the lighting as well. So when I go into a building, you're going to see some really cool lighting effects. Those quote unquote god rays that you've heard about before. Uh, but I don't really know what else to say about this game. I'm not an expert on Assassin's Creed. I will say everything that I know about the series 
everything in those games is touched on here in terms of the mechanics and kind of the things that you would expect. So, yeah, I'm not the expert, but I did have a good time playing this. I love how the blood will splatter everywhere. Uh, there's just a lot of little details like that that really uh, I enjoyed quite a bit when I played this. So, right now the game is scheduled for a worldwide release on November 17th of 2020, so this year on Xbox One, PS4, Stadia, and Windows PC. And they've also said that it will release on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 upon the launch of those consoles. I don't know if they've actually said there's gonna be a free upgrade or not like some of the other titles out there from other publishers, but I would kind of assume that it would be. So don't take my word for it, but I would kind of assume that if you buy this for PS4 and you get a PS5 that you're gonna see that free upgrade over to the PS5 version. Uh, but so far this game is looking great. Uh, open world kind of open melee combat games like this, I've really started paying attention to quite a bit, especially uh, having finished like Horizon Zero Dawn, having finished Ghost of Tsushima, and working on some of the older Assassin's Creed titles. The one thing about this game that kind of, I wouldn't say threw me, but kind of surprised me a little bit or opened my eyes, is the fact that you know a lot of times in the old Assassin's Creed games, it was a lot about climbing these humongous buildings to get a better view. And this is a little bit more like some of the newer AC games where there aren't really that many big buildings anymore. You can certainly go up to like the steeple of a, a castle or something like that, but it's it's not as populated anymore with humongous buildings. Uh, so I thought that kind of changed things around a little bit. It wasn't all climb, climb, climb as my perception was with the first games. And that really changed the, the gameplay up for me quite a bit, and I liked it. So enjoy the video. I'm going to shut up now and let you enjoy what I've got here. I played this game for over two hours, and I was only allowed to use 20 minutes of footage. So that's why it's going to seem a little truncated. But uh, I'm going to see if there's maybe a way that we can get some newer footage when the game gets closer. And we'll try to upload those to the uh, YouTube channel as well. But enjoy this. Don't forget, we also have a Watch Dogs Legion video up that I put up a couple of weeks ago. And this is me playing. Uh, it's over a remote connection, obviously, with the COVID stuff going on. They, you know, nobody wants to travel anymore. Uh, but this worked really, really well, and it was a lot of fun. And thanks so much to Ubisoft for not only allowing access to this game, but also apologies to them for this taking so long to release. I had some hardware problems on my uh, on my Mac. Uh, one of the hard drives failed, and that's why I couldn't get this edited immediately. But check out the Watch Dogs Legion video on our channel, YouTube.com/slash PS Nation. And uh, we'll definitely have some more coverage of both games coming up as they get closer to release. <laughs>
This place is heavily guarded. Shut your hole, shit stain! Feel great. Stronger already. Hey, check the trolls for hands up, Scott. What a joke.
remember the dream I spoke of? You sailed through Helheim on a ship of fire. Here, it may come to pass. Dreams. Life. Maybe they are one and the same. the flaming sea steed, rushing to the spear day. A watcher alight on water's wake, another glory I will keep. Ready yourselves. Ruit's shit stains will see us coming. We need to open these gates! <laughs> <laughs> 